In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get an engineering job with Tesla once you are in the interview process. Now, don't think software engineer, think more mechanical, manufacturing, industrial, process, etc. However, if you are a software engineer, don't click off because a lot of what I'm going to say is going to be applicable. Now, how do I have this information you are probably asking? One, uh, I make videos about interviewing and landing jobs, and I do a lot of videos that are company specific. But in addition to that, sometimes when someone watches one of my videos and they end up getting a job, they reach out to me to tell me all about their process and that is what I am doing. This information is shared with an engineer who just received a job and this is everything that candidate went through and their advice on how to land a job with the company. We are going to cover what the different steps are, the things you need to focus on and their tips on landing a role and actual questions and answers. Let's go. Now Tesla has a four step screening process for their engineering roles. Uh, the first step is an interview with the recruiter. Now these are quick 20 to 30 minute phone screens with the recruiter. Now these mostly consist of them walking through the resume and talking through what you've done and having you explain exactly what you've done in your role and they're looking for buzzwords that match with the job description and what you're gonna be doing in the new role. They also ask you the interview question, why Tesla? That is a very common interview question. You're actually going to be asked at every single step of the process. So this is quick, informal, walking through the resume, high level, and then they move you on if they feel it's a good fit. Now this next interview is a bit more in depth and this is actually with the hiring manager. Now again, this hiring manager is going to ask you to walk through the resume and talk about the different things. They will specifically hone in if you have any short stints. So if there was a place you were at for four months, six months, a year, they're probably going to ask, well, why were you here for this period of time? And they're gonna have you explain that. They also ask the interview question, why Tesla? Again, common theme, everybody is going to ask you that. Um, and then they also ask you, what is a significant engineering accomplishment in your career? So they're gonna ask you about that and they're gonna probe further and they're going to expect you to be able to explain some of the different details and recall significant examples of what you did, why you made the decisions you made, and they want you to share the outcome. My advice to anybody interviewing with Tesla is think about four to five stories you'd like to share in your interview. Things that are significant in different stops along the way, write down the details and familiarize yourself with them because they are going to expect you to be able to give some examples of things you've done that are of note and they are absolutely gonna expect you to be able to share details. Now there's one last critical thing that the hiring manager did for this candidate. The hiring manager explained, this is what my team does. Based on your experience, how can you contribute to the team? So they're gonna walk you through exactly what it is their team does, um, you know, the, the things that they're gonna be doing, the projects you're gonna be part of, and then they're gonna ask you, just knowing that, knowing this, how do you think you're gonna contribute and you need to be ready to answer that question in a strong way? Because right there, that is you making a case to me move forward to the next step and ultimately be hired at Tesla. Now, if that goes good, what's next? And the next thing is actually an exam. Now, this is a general uh, engineering test, so it's not overly um, technical, but it has some very general engineering concepts. So not the specific stuff that you've done in the past, um, but things that you've been exposed to. So high level, so think mechanical, think electrical, think chemical. So just general things that you might have been exposed to in your career, not too much depth, but just a broad high level um, you know, uh, exam on general uh, concepts. This is sent to you by the recruiter. They send it, you have 24 hours to complete it. Again, the, the person who got the job said this wasn't an overly complicated, um, it wasn't overly in depth, but you have 24 hours. Um, and if you are confident in your skills, it probably shouldn't be too challenging to complete. Now this last interview is where it gets really complicated. This is the panel review. And the panel review is actually uh, made up of two parts. So the first thing is you are going to present. So they're going to have you do a presentation based on something you've done in the past. Um, so the recruiter tells you to prepare this, um, you prepare a presentation, and then you are going to prepare it um, and present it to an entire team. It is five or six people, um, people from the team and the hiring manager. Now this with the entire group is about 20 to 30 minutes based on presentations followed by a Q&A. Um, and here's an absolute key factor you need to consider. If you have presented on it, then nothing is off limits. Their expectation is that you understand this pretty deeply. So you're gonna give a presentation of something you've done significantly. And if you were only a small part of it and you can't answer 
um, questions about all the different facets, that is not going to be good for you. Anything in the presentation that is totally, um, totally uh, in the limits of what they might ask you, nothing is off limits. So whatever you prepare, familiarize yourself with it and come ready to answer a variety of questions that you can expect them to ask you. Now, once you do that and you've given them the presentation, you've answered some of their questions, then you're going to go into these five, um, five or six, depending on how many people, they're going to do one-on-one, -on -one, 30 minute interviews. So for the next two and a half to three hours, you're actually gonna be meeting with a team one-on-one. -on -one. Each person, 30 minutes, move to the next, to the next, to the next. There's a break in there, but it is a significant time investment. Now, a lot of their questions are gonna be questions about your presentation and general knowledge. They're gonna ask you why Tesla. They're also gonna ask a few behavioral interview questions. The candidate that ended up getting this job was asked several behavioral interview questions over the course of those five to six interviews. One of the interesting questions that this candidate got was give me an example of something you've learned in the last six months. So when you go in there and you're gonna interview with Tesla, they're looking for people who are continuing to learn. They are passionate about what they do, they're passionate about their career, and they're doing things to learn um, to continue to become better professionals. So be prepared to talk about something significant that you've learned in the last six months. And if you haven't learned anything, um, then do some research real quick and learn something so you can bring that to your interview. They're also going to ask questions about your presentation again in this one-on-one -on -one setting. And remember, if you presented on it, nothing is off limits, so come prepared to talk to it. Now I wanna give you a few more questions that they asked. Everybody asked the question, why Tesla? I have a video on that. I'm actually gonna link it at the very end of this video so you can go watch that. That way you have a great answer to why Tesla. But they also asked, how would you design blank? So they basically asked a question like, how would you go ahead and design this? Um, so think about what Tesla does what you do and what type of projects you might be involved in. They might just ask you point blank, how would you go about designing this? So be ready to answer a question like that. They also ask questions like, how do you think you'd be able to contribute to this team? So you wanna think about that through. What are your skills? Um, how would you participate in this team environment? Remember, these are all people who are motivated to solve a big problem, right? They wanna, they wanna transition the world to renewable energy. That is their mission, right? It is important to them. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're answering the question, how would you contribute to this team? But have something ready for that. This candidate was also asked the interview question, can you give me an example of a safety issue you solved? So it's important for you to have something like that in mind. And that's it, that's the end of the interview. Now they, um, what, what I was told is that they have the ability to have this go up through the approval chain. So anybody there can say no, and there's still the opportunity that a manager can say, you know what, I need to talk to them one more time to make sure they're a good fit. But the general idea here is they're looking for people passionate and they want a general consensus that yes, this person would be a great addition to the team. And I asked the candidate, what is your advice for somebody doing this role? Um, or what is your advice for somebody interviewing for a role like this? And the candidate said, prepare, prepare, prepare. Tesla gets thousands of applicants and you're going to need to stand out. Um, so come ready because you won't get another chance. I also wanna tell you, watch this video here. This video is why Tesla, it is the most important interview question you are going to answer when you're a candidate with Tesla. And if you come ready and you have a great answer for this question is going to help you a ton. In this video, I put four or five different ways you can answer this question. So pick one that works for you, use that, and you will absolutely crush your interview with Tesla.